Hey there, I'm Benjamin from Loves Data. In this video, you'll learn all about Google Ads certification. Getting certified is a great way to showcase your skills, whether you want to grow in your current role, apply for a new job, freelance, or even work towards Google Partner status for your agency. Google currently offers nine certifications in Google Ads. This means you can become certified in the different types of campaigns, like Search, Display, and Performance Max. There are also certifications that highlight your expertise in areas like measurement and building effective ads. To become certified in Google Ads, you must pass at least one of Google's certification exams. Once you pass an exam, you will be certified in that area of Google Ads. All of the Google Ads certifications are available on Google Skillshop. Let's head to Skillshop to take a look. To access Google Skillshop, you will need to log in using your Google account. This will be your Gmail or Google Workspace address. To do this, let's click Sign In on the top right corner. Now let's click Sign In with Google. I've already created a profile, but if it's your first time on Skillshop, you will need to follow the steps to create your profile. OK, now let's select Get Certified on Google Ads. And I want to mention that I've found the Skillshop website can be extremely slow to load some pages. So you might find you need to wait a while for things to load. Hopefully it's not slow for you, but if it is, you're not alone. Scrolling down, you'll see different sections. We're going to focus on the section titled Google Ads Certifications. Let's start by clicking Google Ads Certifications. Again, if this is slow to load and you don't want to wait, you can scroll through the certifications without clicking on Google Ads Certifications. Now we can see all of the available certifications and they each focus on a different topic. There are certifications for AI-powered performance ads, AI-powered shopping ads, Google Ads Apps, Google Ads Creative, Google Ads Display, Google Ads Measurement, Google Ads Search, Google Ads Video, and Grow Offline Sales. So if you want to be certified in Search, you can take that particular exam. Or if you want to be certified in all of the areas, you will need to pass all of the exams. You might be wondering which exams you should take. If you're already using Google Ads, then I suggest starting with a certification that covers a topic you're already familiar with. For example, if you're comfortable managing Performance Max campaigns, I would start with the AI-powered Performance Ads certification. You can select a certification to take the exam and view the available study resources. Let's select the Google Ads Search certification. Then we need to click Enroll. You will find the available study resources in the menu on the left. And you can use these to prepare for the certification exam. The resources cover the topics you'll need to know, and these modules also include some practice questions. Apart from taking these modules, I also recommend having some hands-on experience using Google Ads. If you don't have access to an account, you might want to consider creating a demo account. And to learn even more practical skills, consider joining my Google Ads course. You can find a link to my courses in the description below this video. When you're ready to take one of the certification exams, just look for the Assessment option in the menu on the left. Let's select this. You'll need to view the disclaimer before you can take the exam. Once this has been viewed, we can then select the assessment. You'll find some details about the exam, including the number of questions you'll need to answer and the percentage of questions you'll need to answer correctly to pass the exam. 
Each exam gives you an hour and 15 minutes to answer all of the questions. Most of the exams require you to answer 50 questions and get 80% of the questions correct. However, there are a couple of exams that have a slightly lower passing requirement and a couple that have 49 questions instead of 50. Questions are generally multiple choice, where you can choose one answer, or check boxes where you can choose one or more answers. You will need to select the best possible answer or answers from the available options. The questions in the exams cover a broad range of topics, including the different features in Google Ads, best practices for managing campaigns, and even the occasional strategic question. Now let's look at some practice questions. These are based on the types of questions you might find in the search exam and will give you a feel for the types of questions you might be asked. The first question is, what's the main advantage of using smart bidding compared to manual bidding? Is the answer A, it predicts user intent and adjusts bids in each auction using contextual signals? B, it guarantees lower CPCs in every campaign. C, it only uses historical keyword performance to set bids. Or D, it removes the need to set a campaign budget. What do you think is the correct answer? The correct answer is A, it predicts user intent and adjusts bids in each auction using contextual signals. The next practice question is, a business wants to reach people who are searching with different variations of their product names. They also want to use Google AI to optimize bids in real time. Which two options would help them achieve this? Is the answer A, exact match, B, broad match, C, smart bidding, or D, manual CPC? The correct answer is B and C, broad match and smart bidding. Next up, a marketer has noticed their Google Ads optimization score is 65%. What does this score indicate? Is the answer A, their ads are reaching 65% of potential impressions, B, the account could improve if they apply Google's listed recommendations, C, the account is performing worse than 65% of other advertisers in their industry, or D, their account level budget is set 35% too low. The correct answer is B, the account could improve if they apply Google's listed recommendations. And the final practice question is, you want to make sure your ad has the best chance of appearing in a high position in Google search results. Which three factors are used to calculate ad rank? Is the answer A, your bid, B, ad quality, C, context of the search, or D, the number of ads running in your account. The correct answer is A, B, and C, your bid, ad quality, and the context of the search. So there's some examples of the types of questions you might find in the search exam. If you'd like to test yourself with even more practice questions, you can find a link to my Google Ads exam practice questions in the description below this video. Okay, let's head back to Skillshop. Once you finish your assessment, you will immediately know if you've passed or not. And once you've passed, you'll probably want to download your certificate. I need to highlight that it can take a few hours for your certificate to appear in Skillshop. So if you've just finished your exam, you might need to wait before you can get your certificate. Once it is available, you can find it by opening the menu on the left. Then choose My Activities. And select Certification to view your certificates. Once your certificate has been issued, you'll receive an email from Accredible. This is the certificate platform that is used for Skillshop. And once you've received the email, you'll also see a link to a credible appear in the Skillshop digital badge column on the right. If you don't see a link to a credible on the right, then you will need to wait for it to appear. When you click the link, a new tab will open. You'll see your certification 
and you can click sign in to access more options to download your certificate and badge. Once you've passed one of the exams, you can say you are certified in Google Ads. You can also print your certificate and add your certification to LinkedIn and your CV. Are you studying to become Google Ads certified? Which exams are you going to take? I'd love to know. Let me know in the comments below. Remember that you can test your Google Ads knowledge with even more of my practice questions. And to learn practical skills to set up and manage Google Ads campaigns, please take a moment to check out my course. I've included links in the description below this video. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.